to the female, this time the minus 68 kilogram category. Greece again with their fighter up against Armenia's Anita Makian. Friedrike Dinga from Germany, the referee for the bout. Vasiliki Penacedu from Greece, the number mm -hmm. two seed for the competition from the last European Championship. So, this young fighter, just 22 years of age from Armenia. Makian. She's got a, a tall order here against Panacedu. Mm -hmm. Vicky Panacedu has been a European champion, European silver medalist, European bronze medalist. She's been a, a European champion as a cadet. She's also won four Karate One Premier Leagues. Again, a, a very, very experienced fighter. And uh, I have to say, it's great that she's on the tatami and not sitting alongside me commentating, <laughs> which she has done in the Premier Leagues recently. Yeah. So, uh, best wishes to both of these fighters. Makian has got a, a lot to do to if she wants to overcome Valasiki yeah. Palacedo. And Palacedo on the front foot at the moment, trying to put her young opponent, Makian, under pressure. Makian hasn't won any international medals yet, but that doesn't mean to say yeah. that today isn't the day. So on rare occasions when you were uh, a so-called underdog, mm -hmm. and maybe in your very very early career, uh, how would how how do you how do you think the 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 uh, the less experienced fighter prepares for such a match? You know, I think that I don't know if you can prepare it because you have to live it first of all. Oh, you have to <laughs> live it. <yeah. laughs> oh, my goodness yeah. me. <laughs> Yeah, she's fantastic, this girl, because a long time she's performing on the tatami. And uh, since cadet, as you say, and now now for this championship, and as usual, she's very strong. Well, Valasiki Panacedu is now opening the score with a three points. She gets the century advantage. She's using her favorite technique, the Uramawashi, really in close. That's a technique that we often see with uh, Angelika Teliuga yeah. of Ukraine. But Panacedu is really on form. She beat... Her nemesis, Silvia Semerero from Italy on the way through. There's the kick coming up oh, to the, the head. Now, the kick. the kick doesn't have to make contact with the target. It can be up to five centimeters yeah. away. But there's a kick coming up as it went round and hooking back. There was a video review. Yeah. And the, the video punch. review was for the punch from Anita Makian. It was successful. So we have one point for... Makian and three points for Panacedu. So watch out for that Uramawashi again from Panacedu. She dances oh, along yeah. that Jogai line. She just steps off the tatami. She'll get a category two warning for that. I think that it's another point. Right. This time she'll get the century advantage to go with it yeah. because it was unopposed. So the green dot will appear, no doubt, alongside the score. Melissa this time stays in close. She's doing her, her match, uh, the Armenian girl. Makian, oh! Oh no. Here's a video review request from the coach of Anita Makian. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So we'll have to maybe look to yeah. see. Oh, There's yeah. the kick coming in at the back now. Yeah. Was it good okay. enough to score? In your opinion, Jill? Yes. <laughs> you think it's a score? But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and it was that's a normal. score. Yeah, now, yeah, yeah. 
Very, very interesting. One minute, 20 seconds. The score is now 4-4. Remember, the green dot signifies the century still lies with Valasiki Panasetu. That was a great call from the coach, Gilles, wasn't it? To call that video review. And I said, who wants to come away from that line? She doesn't want another Joe guy. Push. They kind of, a bit of a clinch going on there. Yeah. And they stumbled to the mat, so the referee doesn't give a warning to either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off the line came Vicky Melasiki yeah. Panacedu. Clever tactic because she'd been <laughs> stepping back each yeah. time, and that time she, st she, she made an attack. Caught out. Anita Makian by surprise. So this is experience. The way she changed her tactics that time. Oh, well, there's the last time for him. For 29 seconds. So she has to be careful now. That's a leaky to, yeah. For so she now on Hansoka Chui. She still keeps the century because it's not within the last 15 seconds. But she cannot step off the tatami anymore, otherwise she would lose the bout. She's going back close to that line once more, but she turns out of trouble. Makia needs to attack. She's got to go forward into the last 17 seconds. We go up comes a kick from Makia. Panatsedu holds her hands high, keeps out of trouble. Oh, Video review oh. request coming from the coach of Anita Makia. Just nine seconds still to go. There's the Four. punch, top left hand screen. There's the punch that's being contested. Now, was it just to the side of the face or was it on target? It can score if it hits the throat or the neck, but did it meet the target? That's what's being considered. Or did the pad, as you see there, Pass Nothing. and it passed. So it didn't meet the criteria yeah. for Ippon. No score. The target was not there. Into the last nine seconds we go. Still Palazzo leading five points to four. This time Palazzo's coach puts up the card. Is this uh, more tactical, yeah, you think? Yes, this is. <laughs> now for Vasiliki to just have a moment. Score. Oh yeah! Tries yeah. To hold her up with a great yeah. side kick there. What a powerful midsection kick! Alasiki Penasudu seals the deal and takes home the bronze medal. Fantastic performance from Alasiki Penasudu of Greece. The Armenian was a, a good fighter. She was very really interesting. Good. Very, very good. good. But you. Was trailing, she started to come back with that Ippon score. Yeah. 4-4 four, four it went. All smiles now. Great performance. The experience paid off in the end. Oh, yeah. 